Now let's talk about MySQL clients. There are a lot of apps out there on the marketplace, on the Android marketplace and the iPhone app store. Uh, I'm going to concentrate on apps that work within the phone itself without requiring a, a second PC or a host PC to, to execute queries. So on Android, there's an app called RemoteDB. It's, it's a $2.99. Let me unlock real quick. It's a $2.99, $3 app, and it works really good. So um, let's do new. So <clears throat> you can have saved servers. And this is your uh, query panel, so you can you can execute queries from here. Um, store. There's my record set. You can also um, run, or you can save this. So I can save this. That's my select. Let's see. I can say. So I just saved, oh, there's one more. So you can save that query that you just did, or open one. <clears throat> so this is prepared uh, insert statement I, I have. So uh, let's say I want to create a user. And let's go back to the trackpad again. Again, uh, I, I don't recommend a phone without a trackpad unless if you're going to be serious about uh, text handling. See how I did that? On the iPhone, you don't have to worry about that because you have the magnifying glass, so it does the same thing. Um, and uh, execute and, my, and create a new record. So let's just look at our records. Open and that's my uh, newly inserted record. So that's Remote DB on Android. It's a three dollar app. It works pretty good. Um, it works with other databases too, besides MySQL. I don't know offhand, but um, <clears throat> let's go to the iPhone. So on the iPhone, uh, let me zoom in, focus for real quick. We have MySQL CLI and we have DB Tracker. Um, both are free apps. So MySQL CLI is very basic. It's one of the very first um, MySQL clients that, that was on the, on the App Store. I've been using it for a few years. Um, it's basic. You can view the records. Uh, you can do some filters. Not much there. Nothing else. Um, let's go out. <clears throat> and the next app is. DB track layer. This is would be comparable to remote DB on Android. Um, you can have store profiles. Connect real quick. Log in. View my database. View my records like that. Or go back. It does have some other nice features. <clears throat> Indexes. You can have views. You can create procedures and triggers in here. So back to my table. Or you can run queries from here. So I can do like a select, oops, select star from and execute. So there's my there's my um, <coughs> record set. So that's those are the comparison between the two. Um, it's a toss up between Android and iPhone so you get both of the same functionality um, I would give the slight edge to the iPhone because this is a free app I didn't have to pay three bucks but you know if you're serious about your work you know three bucks is not gonna hurt you so that's the MySQL comparison between the two phones um, now what would I choose between the two <clears throat> well when people ask me what would I choose you know what would I choose Android or iPhone you can't go wrong either or uh, they both do the job um, they're both good. I like the fact that Android is an open OS. You can run stuff like WebDAV and what have you. 
and it let me show you real quick you can run uh, I'm open up a web dev client real quick uh, focus you can run a web dev client and use this as a file server and it stores on the SD card and you can take the SD card out and transfer files that way so it's it's really cool <clears throat> iPhone, you can do things like uh, file. There's there's some web dev app, but they work in their own little sandboxes. It's not as open as, as Android, so <clears throat> it's a toss up. Um, I would lean toward iPhone OS, iOS, and only for one reason, and that reason is let me pull it up. Let me see. Go to general uh, network. Okay. And the only reason why I would zoom in real quick is the VPN connectivity and enterprise connectivity. Let's go to home. My work requires a Cisco VPN, and as of summer 2010, Android 2.1, even for oil. There's no outlook for Cisco VPN. You have the basic PPT and LPT2, but on, on iPhone, you have out of the box, free Cisco client with, with group, group name and group secrets. So for my needs, I would have to choose iPhone OS, and that's because of my needs. Um, other comments? <clears throat> Verizon's, for me, the data, seems to be a little bit faster than AT&T, but not by much. Um, I don't like the fact that it's CDMA. Um, some people like CDMA, I prefer GSM. I prefer GSM because I travel, once I travel abroad, I can just pull the SIM card. I can unlock the phone and put another SIM card in and use it on another carrier. You can't really do that with, with a CDMA phone. Um, you can do it, and some countries have roaming, some don't. If you go to Latin America, uh, there is no CDMA carriers out in Latin America like by Belize or, or Panama so you're stuck with a, a brick but on the iPhone you can you know, use a micro sim or regular sim and cut it and put it in and and you're good to go to use as a phone so that's another plus but uh, so that's my take on the two in terms of sys admin tools um, they're both great devices uh, choose what you need choose your tools accordingly and thanks for watching my video